got to go to. There she went. So we actually just got a ladder and just made Colin climb up. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see the title and thumbnail today, Colin is back on his car. So Colin did get a, what was it Colin? MBRP? Yep, MBRP X-Pipe. All right. Let me show you the X-Pipe. Here it is, kind of just like mine, but mine is a Steeda. So we both did buy ours used, um, so it does have like a little heat cycle. Got all the little nice flames in them, I would say, call that. <laughs> so we're gonna see the difference between Colin's X-Pipe versus mine. Um, I think the sizes are roughly the same. Get the dents out of it. <laughs> So we're gonna see the difference. Um, we're gonna jack Colin's car up right now, put on the lift, cut it off. Should take us no time, because um, I already did it on mine. It took us about three hours, so yeah. I heard you were the guy to go to, so that's why. I'm that's why, yeah, that's what we do here for a performance uh, racing school in here. How much is installed? Um, 300. <laughs> Before we put the car on the lift, I just remembered, we're gonna do a cold start uh, on Colin's car. So his mufflers, I don't know, I'm pretty sure they're the same. Mine just has the active valve, Colin, does not, so we're gonna get a cold start right now and then after the X-Pipe. Crank her over. Give it a baby rev. Okay, Collins does sound really good. Woo! A little backfire? Did you see flames? <laughs> This isn't Fast and the Furious. So we're about to throw it on the lift right now, cut it off. Jeez, Colin's new wheel's looking fresh. I need some new wheels. Yeah, we're gonna cut everything off under here, throw that sucker right on. Let's get it. So my car was pretty much the guinea pig on doing this. As you can see, right where the uh, pipe starts to bend, I'm gonna cut it right before that Sharpie mark, just to be safe. And I saw some comments before, let me show you. So this blade, right here, this saw, it will cut about halfway through the pipe. So that blade right there will probably get me right to where that line ends. The problem is, this is a gas tank and this is the gas tank. So, the other saw that you guys saw in previous videos, and this one. This one, I got a metal blade that's shorter and sharper than the other one. This one's a little dull now, so I'm gonna have to change that out. But, I saw the comments, you have to start at the bottom of the blade. Yes, thank you, I appreciate that, I know that. But with the other blade I was using first, when you put it up in the air, you can't because it's gonna start hitting on the gas tank, on the drive shaft, and every way you go, as you can see from this angle, look how close that is. And if you're using this full speed with the other blade, mind you, let me show you the other blade. So both of these are both metal blades, both to cut metal, metal and metal. Um, I was told with the more teeth, the better, and I got this one because it's shorter and the, the guy said this one might be better for uh, like thicker steel or lighter steel. I don't know exactly, not a metal cutting expert, but when I had this one, let me pull it out of the box and show you. So the blade pretty much goes to right here while it's on the saw. And if you're gonna start from the bottom like you're supposed to, look, look how high it goes. And I'm already hitting the drive shaft on this side. And then on this side, no matter which way I go to get to the bottom, either way, I'm still gonna hit something. So that's why I was trying to cut it with the top, just so I didn't hit the gas tank or beat up the drive shaft. That's why I went and bought that. So key is, what I'm gonna have to do, start cutting with that, get as much as I can cut as possible, and then I'm gonna switch to that, put the new blade on that one, and then I'm gonna finish off the top. Just, it should be probably end here, so cut the little bit, cut the little bit, and drop it. I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna try to get Collins right on the money, because mine did have more gap than I wanted to. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. I'm, I'm excited to see how the MBRP is gonna sound different from the Steeda. I don't think it's gonna be crazy much, but this MT8200 here has a lot more room than the 10 speed. <clears throat> Some fat turbos right here. Got plenty of room. Hopefully nothing's leaking on it already, freaking Fords. Jesus, how's it look? It's all right, you know? Yeah, it's whatever. Let's get the blades, let's start cutting it up. So, this is my protective gear, Carhartt jacket, got some snow gloves, and some just clear glasses that I found in the drawer. Yeah, whatever. 
Hopefully nothing hits me. And we're about to start cutting, so. In some white vans. Always. Hashtag dirty vans. Huh. Let's start cutting. <laughs> oh, I cut in the wrong place. <laughs> My gas like, tank. Looks like some condensation in there. Look, put some water in there. That's <laughs> weird. The vlog's all that. <laughs> all right, so I got that one for the most part halfway. I'm gonna hit this one halfway. Then never forget. Uh, make sure you get some bungee cords. We're gonna tighten up the exhaust before I finish cutting it all the way. Um, get it all strapped up nice so they, they don't fall and we don't get the mufflers uh, like out of alignment like mine pretty much did <clears throat> and, um, Yeah, we're gonna go from there. Let me get this next side so there's water up in here. Why is there so much like condensation in here? It's kind of weird honestly. Look how much water's coming out. Look at all this condensation coming out. I don't know if that's all in here or what, but like, there's a lot. There was a good bit, like, all the water on the ground and my glove is soaking wet. So yeah, that's kind of weird. I don't know. <laughs> See how much comes out of it anymore. <laughs> I'm, gonna hit it. I'm gonna get it for the most part as much as I can. And then we're gonna hang the mufflers like I was saying and um, hit it with the other saw. So this is my bungee cord job for the most part, just to keep the mufflers in line. Just ran it around the pipe a few times, ran one right here. And like you guys saw, I cut right in front of the line. So right where the pipe starts to get straight, I cut it right there, straight as I possibly could. This one got a little crooked, but that's okay. And this one also, I'm gonna go grab the other saw and hit it from the top or hit it at a sideways angle. So maybe it'll meet up with this. That's the plan and just keep cutting it all the way through. All right, so I got it cut within like 10 minutes. So much easier and better than the other one. Once I unbolt this and get it off, I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit, get it 100%. So just it looks a whole lot more like neat, I would say. But um, yeah, I'm gonna have to hold this and drop four bolts on this side, push the clamps back, and this should slide right out. There she went. Colin's X-Pipe was a little bit different. I didn't even look at it all that much because I don't know why I should have. So Colin slid over the factory, which I do like better because the other one, the Steeda one, just had a massive clip like this and the two pipes met about like, I would say like a half an inch apart. And then I put the big clamp over like that and they would, they would connect. That's how it was. Collins is a little bit better. So it's not going to have any like exhaust leaks it mounts like that. And then this will go over all the way over here. Once we loosen up and cover that piece right there. So that's definitely not going to move. We had a little trouble up front, just getting this piece to move and that piece to fit right in because these clamps are super hard to release. So in case you're ever having trouble with this, just disconnect right here, this like down pipe, I want to call it right for where the cat is. You can just loosen that up. Don't take it completely off so you can rotate it and wiggle it a little bit more just to get it in. But I want to say we did this in a quarter of the time that it took me to do mine. And Colin's mufflers didn't fall either because I pre bungee corded them up. Now we just gotta button everything down, drop it off the lift, and he just bounces his head off that. <laughs> and yeah, so far so good. Final walkthrough, so Colin's mufflers didn't move at all because now I learned the first time the hard way that you gotta strap everything up. So yeah, clamps went on nice and good, everything's straight. This one, they whoever put this one on before, they stripped the teeth of that like nut, so it was like all jacked up. Here, his already has some good color in it. That's all the way on, this clip's all the way on, and that one's good to go. Looks pretty good for the most part. Straight as it's gonna be for my exhaust shop over here. <laughs> now, just gotta lower it down. Too bad it's not an auto, because we could just remote start and just make sure it has no exhaust leaks. So now we gotta drop the car, let it run, and feel it. So we actually just got a ladder and just made Colin climb up. <laughs> Little sketch, don't recommend it, but go ahead, start it, Colin. Way better. Hey, kill it. 
So right where I cut, we noticed Colin's pike went on probably more than an inch on this side and still I could feel a little bit of an exhaust leak. So I moved the clamps directly to the edge, right? Like, I don't know if that's how it's supposed to be because it looked like their clamp marks were here, but it was different from my other one. So I put it right at the edge exactly and clamped it down. This clamp was messed up from the previous owner. You can see at the top that piece is not bent 100%. I think they used like the wrong socket piece. I don't know, but it didn't go smooth, but we cranked it down as hard as we could. It's not going anywhere. There's solid one there, but Colin's about to start up again and see. Fire it up, Colin. Just right where that seam is. Cast it a little bit. Car falls off the lift. <laughs> it's a GT500. Is this a GT500? That wing looks good though. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, Kyle's car sounds pretty good. Um, it's MBRP. Uh, it's a lot different than the Steeda. I like the way they kind of had the pipe set up, but the clips on mine were way better. But yeah, sounds good. Did this in a tenth of the time it took to do mine. So yeah, make sure you smash that like button. And if you missed last upload of me and Colin installing a GT500 wing, make sure you go check it out. The car will be in the description or we'll put it up there. And yeah, make sure you hit that subscribe button, Road to 11K, and I'm out. Peace.